Hey you birds, Vivian here with a video tutorial for you. I wanted to share with you a card project that is made up entirely of scraps. I'm sure you guys all have lots of scraps. I think sometimes the difficulty is, is deciding which scraps to keep, which you will actually use. Um, I always save these mixed media pieces, pieces that I've misted, um, because I know I'll use them down the line. These are a bunch of wafer thin dies from a new Sizzix die set, a wafer thin die set made with Sizzix and Prima. It's um, called Rondo number 659706. And the nice thing about that is you can use the die cuts, of course, but strategically place the dies on your cardstock and then later have a uh, mask that you can use to ink through or send other media through. This is also a new die. It's a Sizzix original die by Marisa Powelko for Sizzix, and it's called Chained, and it's number 659417. I'm using it with the new Sizzix Sophisticate machine, and I want to show you right here exactly how it's put together. Um, this is right out of the box, and it's so quick. This is a really great little portable device, and you just screw the handle in like that. And then once it's screwed in, you just add in the little plastic cover um, for aesthetic reasons. And this is specifically made for all of your Sizzix original dies. And it comes with those acrylic plates. I really like this chained die because you get three different shapes in it. I'm sticking through, um, sticking my uh, leftovers in there. And all of these patterns are, are really pretty and geometric, and I really like the repetition that happens in them. So you see these impressions left by the blades from my die. That's totally normal. Um, I think some people new to Sizzix uh, manual die cutting machines freak out when they hear the crack or when they see the cuts on their acrylic plates, but uh, that's completely normal. And um, after several uses of your acrylic plates, you can just replace them with new ones if you see that the cuts are starting to make lines in your die cuts. But as you can see, there's this beautiful square chain and the circular open chain and then that um, thinner beaded chain. I'm using a set of six beautifully muted pigment inks from Colorbox and a blending tool that's also from Clear Snap to um, ink some of these pretty gear-shaped patterns onto my scrap piece. A blog follower introduced me to this Xyron X sticker machine and I really love it, especially for adhering um, smaller, more intricate die cuts like this. Rather than have to go with a liquid glue tip all around every little piece, uh, sending it through this machine saves you a lot of time. And I have a couple of tips when using the Xyron X sticker machine. This is what I do. I just rub my thumb, the back of my thumb, over the, um, the top surface and it helps make sure that all that adhesive is on the back of my die cut. Sometimes a little bit of that adhesive um, doesn't release off of the die cut. See that how it's glistening? So once I have all of my um, uh, patterns established on these scrap pieces, I can take some of that scrunched up clear paper from the sticker machine, sticker maker, and just pat it on top and it gets rid of the um, excess adhesive really quickly. So let me show you what all my pieces look like. Aren't they pretty? I ran along the edges um, with a, one of my favorite new colors. It's a yellow ochre chalk ink from Clear Snap. And uh, just to distinguish each of the pieces um, in my card project. There's something really relaxing about the repetition of these geometric patterns. And um, Due to the nature of mists, there's an interesting variation that happens. And these are all scraps. I hope I've inspired you to go through your scraps and for sure hang on to those scraps from your mixed media projects or misting projects. Um, if I can share one tip uh, for using up your scraps like this, if you've got some lighter pieces and darker pieces, um, I think sometimes it helps create a more interesting composition if you intersperse the lighter pieces with the darker pieces. And it helps create sort of a path, a, a visual path through your project. I added a little banner piece that says create 
because we used all of our scraps to just have fun and create and play with shapes and color. Um, and a little piece of uh, paper string, I believe it's called, and a, a button that sort of brings out the darker colors in those uh, gear shapes, sh gear shape pieces. I almost forgot to add that to each uh, scrap piece, after the uh, die cuts were adhered, I actually pressed the whole piece into the ink pad lightly into the ink pad of my chalk ink to create a nice little extra bit of distress. You can see that here. And let me show you some uh, stills of the final project. So you never know, there could be um, your next favorite project lying in your pile of scraps in your box. I know all us, all the paper crafters, we all have boxes of scraps that we know we're going to use up, but I would suggest um, saving all of those uh, mixed media scraps and those misted scraps. Thanks so much for watching. This is Vivian K, also known as Contadina K, and um, for links to all of the product, you can find that in the description box below.